so the lecture that you have not attended yesterday uh, you may follow it after this uh, you have the recordings i believe okay in case of any questions or doubts you may consult me so where were we yesterday psychophysical scale right so our psychological reactions are delayed while the environmental changes are very fast so it's like saying that if the environmental changes are taking place in geometric progression like 2 4 8 16 32 and so on the psychological perception of these changes are taking place in arithmetic progression 1 2 3 4 5 and so on so when the change is 2 we perceive it only one slow hai hamara perceptual ability theek hai when the change is 4 our perception is it's twice but it's actually four times so psychophysicists were the ones who were able to bring into notice that how our mind controls the perception of our body the body does not senses the stimulus in the environment exactly the way it is it senses the stimulus with some delay and we can exactly measure the delay and we will learn about this in all more detail when we go to the sensation chapter sensation attention perception okay we learn about signal detection theory very interesting experiments you know very intelligent experiments through which we are able to know you know okay so that was contribution of wilhelm wundt who established the first school of psychology which is known by the name structuralism okay so he said that consciousness is a static entity wilhelm wundt said our consciousness is a static entity okay and because it is a static entity just like this classroom it is not flowing it is not moving we can identify the parts and the structure of this classroom likewise we can identify the parts of our consciousness and our consciousness comprise of three parts what are they direct sensation direct sensation like you are seeing me you are hearing me i am directly being sensed by you right when you see me hear me you also feel some emotion so another component of your consciousness is emotion okay some of you might be feeling pleasant after seeing me meeting me some might may not be feeling pleasant they might be feeling extraordinarily pleasant okay and third one is some of you may also imagine something when you see me right you may some of you may imagine your uncle maybe he looks like my uncle or he looks my father or he talks like him or maybe you are imagining your girlfriends or boyfriends while being in this class physically present roaming around in the company bar hai na to ye hote hain now as you know that structuralism originated in germany and germans and americans always had a competitive flavor in intellectual community agar germany kuch karega america chup nahi baithega and americans are very very pragmatic you should understand they are very very pragmatic they are like businessmen they do everything with a purpose with an utility if they see that there is no usefulness of any kind of research they will not continue further with the research they are highly utilitarian in perspective bhaiya fayda ho to psychology padho fayda nahi ho gaya tel lene psychology so another psychologist he was from united states of america william james laid the foundation of second school of psychology which is known as functionalism he said consciousness is not a static entity that you can read out the parts of it 
it is a continuously changing entity it is like a stream that continuously flows so functionalism believes that consciousness is like a stream like a river that continuously flows ye nirantar behta rehta hai it flows it wanders it meanders theek hai sometimes it is very fast flowing stream sometimes it is slow so when you are mentally alert your mind works very fast your perceptions are very fast but sometimes also it is true to say that you are lost you are absent minded your consciousness has become slow somebody is calling your name and you are not responding as if you have not heard it pata hai kai bar hum log khayalon mein kho jate hain so consciousness is continuously changing and something which flows or something which continuously changes you cannot identify the parts of it aap is classroom ke parts ko to pehchan sakte hain char vertical deewal hain do horizontal hai ek ceiling ek roof lekin agar ye classroom melt ho jaye let the classroom melt and let it flow like a river can you identify which one is the wall which one is the ceiling which one is the floor you can't so the challenge structure is that how do you claim that you can identify the parts of consciousness because it is continuously changing right and appropriately fits the quotation given by hesychletus or plato hmm? uh in favor of functionalism you just you can mention this quote no man can dip into the same river twice so why i give this quotation it will give some philosophical touch to your answers zaruri nahi hai statement aap quote kare ye bahut mahan mahan logon ne quote kiya plato ne bhi kiya theek hai no man can dip into the same water twice same river ya same water ko yahi yahi quotation is bar essay mein bhi pucha gaya tha main mein ऐसे में थोड़ा सा चेंज करके पूछा गया था नो मैन कैन स्टेप इन टू द सेम वॉटर टॉइस मैंने स्टेप के जगह डिप लिख दिया वॉट डज इट मीन एनी गेस सपोज यू आर डिपिंग इन द रिवर can you dip into the same water mass twice you can't because the river flows when you take the second dip it's a different water the first dip the water of the first dip has flown ahead in the second dip you are dipping into a new water that means each moment you are experiencing changes you are experiencing different consciousness so you are not the same person the very next moment as you have grown older by a second so you cannot relive the same experience twice aap ek hi anubhav do bar nahi kar sakte and therefore functionalist said that change is the only constant इन दिस यूनिवर्स अगर कोई चीज कॉन्स्टेंट है परमानेंट है इस पूरे ब्रह्मांड में इट इज ओनली एंड ओनली चेंज एंड लेट एस एक्सेप्ट दिस लेट एस नॉट डिनाई इट लेट एस एक्सेप्ट दिस दैट चेंज इज द ओनली कॉन्स्टेंट थिंग ठीक है बट वॉट चेंजेस आर जस्ट फॉर्म्स what remains permanent are the ideas for so philosophical note there on this what changes are forms what remains permanent are ideas when plato said this all the scholars across the world raised their eyebrows they couldn't understand what he was saying and plato because he was an out and out intellectual people used to come to him you know scholars from across the world used to visit plato 
to have their curiosity satisfied. So Plato had a hall in his home with a big table and the scholars would sit across the table and Plato will offer them tea. So nobody was able to understand Plato ne kya tha. He said what changes are formed, what remains permanent are ideas, so sab confused ho gaya. So Plato held up his cup of tea and asked the people around, what is this? So everybody said it's a cup. Plato said, look at this cup. It has a particular form. It has a particular design. It has a particular shape, color. If you look around in Greece, you will find thousands of different varieties and forms of cup. And if you look around in this world, you will find millions of different varieties and forms of cup. The forms of cup which are in fashion today will change tomorrow and across generations they will keep changing. But what will remain permanent is the idea of cup. Cup will always be used for serving beverages. So as a scholar, you should focus on the idea, not on the forms. Forms keep changing. I used to obtain my father's blessing by touching his feet. My daughter gives me high five. The forms of greeting have changed, but the feelings, same. We started locomotion, the idea of locomotion by use of some kind of vehicle. We started locomotion using bullock carts. Bullock carts were replaced by automobiles. Automobiles were replaced by aircrafts. So the forms of locomotion keep changing. But the idea that we can have some machines that can reduce our time of movement is permanent. So William James said, it is not important to study what is consciousness made up of. It is not important to study the parts of consciousness. It is important to study how we put our consciousness into use while dealing with our day-to-day -day life challenges. So what's there in the consciousness doesn't make any difference. Rather, let us see how do people make use of their consciousness? How do they make use of the informations present in the consciousness while dealing in day-to-day -day real life setting? Okay. So suppose you go to, to Karol Bagh market to buy a shirt. How intelligently you shop depends upon how brilliantly you use your consciousness. Some people will straight away go to the shop that comes on their way first and whichever shirt they like, they will purchase it. Some people will try to search the whole market and get the best piece out of it with best deal. Are you getting it? Some people will shop very smartly, some people will not be so smart while shopping. So, William James said, that it is important to study the function of consciousness. Function of consciousness. Some people while talking with you, communicating with you, they will focus their entire attention on your facial expressions. Okay? And if they find that you are getting disinterested in their speech, they will immediately change the topic. Why? Because they are actively using their consciousness. And some people are very dumb. They will keep talking, talking, talking without caring for the other person, what is happening to the listener. Are you getting it? So functionalists said that let us study that how human beings and different individuals put the consciousness in function, in use, while dealing with day-to-day -day life. Take it. Therefore, along with Along with lab study, which was st started by the structuralist, they also advocated field study. Field mein jaiye aur logon ko dekhiye chupke. Chahe kahi camera laga dijiye aur dekhiye log kaisa behave karte hain. Theek hai? Like if you are traveling in metro, just have a look at how many young people rise from their seat on arrival of an elderly person 
and by noticing this you may know how courteous how courteous how well mannered youth of delhi are theek hai you can see that how people behave with others in a crowded market and how do they behave in a less crowded market in environmental psychology we will study some interesting findings the researcher went to a library which was located in a very crowded place like chandni chowk and he took some bundle of books and deliberately let them fall it looks like it it fall it fell accidentally but he made it deliberately and he thought and he saw that nobody came to help him to pick up the books the library which was located in crowded market then the researcher went to a library which was located in isolated market non crowded he did the same thing he dropped the books and he found many people who were present in the library came forward to help pick up the books so what did he concluded by this observation that when you are living in a crowded place you are irritated you want social distancing you are running short of personal space and therefore you don't like helping others you try to help yourself but not others but when you live in a place with low social density you want to interact with others you want to help others so helping behavior is affected by crowding this kind of study you were samajh so functionalist added field study along with lab study in lab study the person who is being observed knows that he is being observed in field study people behave in their natural form there is no artificiality so functionalism was free from artificiality effect ab thoda sa main aapko example deta hu lab study aur field study mein kya antar aa sakta hai due to artificiality effect inside a lab when you have a subject who has voluntarily agreed to participate in the experiment you give him a questionnaire you ask him a question is bird a crow aapne subject se pucha kya kauwa chidiya hota hai what will be his answer yes now you go to a bar where people are enjoy enjoying their drinks you meet a stranger you go to a stranger you go to his table and ask him hey is crow a bird what will be his answer तेरी भागता है कि नहीं तो देखो नेचुरल सेटिंग में क्या बोल रहे वो वो गालियां दे रहा है लैब में क्या कर रहा है बड़ा ईमानदारी से यस डिफरेंस आ गया ना तो कौन सा स्टडी सही होगा ह्यूमन बिहेवियर के लिए लैब वाला या फील्ड वाला फील्ड वाला मदर्स बिहेव वेरी वॉर्मली विद देर चिल्ड्रन इन साइड द लैब बट एज सुन एज द लेफ्ट द लैब मां ने अपना रूप दिखा दिया काली माँ वाला are you getting it so functionalist advocated that we should have limited lab study but we should have an elaborate field study okay and one functionalist apart from william james you must know his name he was john devy he used functionalism to study educational psychology how children learn by using their consciousness theek hai how do you learn to read a sentence how do you learn to read a sentence directly you learn to read a sentence first of all you learn to read the words and how do you learn to read the words when you always already have in your memory the knowledge of alphabets so this knowledge of alphabets which have been given to you by the school you will use this knowledge to learn words phonemes and when you have mastered this art you will use this information of phonemes to read sentences and then paragraphs and then the whole text 
So John Dewey said that in which standard, in which grade, what should be the difficult level of the syllabus? So child at a particular age has a limited amount of consciousness, limited amount of information in his consciousness. He cannot understand many things which a grown up child can understand. So the curriculum, the difficulty level of the curriculum according to the grade have been likewise graduated. John Dewey का बड़ा contribution है educational psychology में हम लोग देखेंगे educational psychology में क्या क्या आता ठीक है so now if I ask you to just have a comparison between structuralism and functionalism Just point wise, as I exercise, we will do it class. We will do it in the class. So, I will tell you that you will tell me. I will tell you what I will tell you. Right. According to structuralism, consciousness is static entity. According to functionalism, it is a dynamic entity, ever changing entity. It's like a stream. What, what else? Very good. So, you can say approach wise it is molecular. Okay? It is molecular. Molecular. It is studying the parts, molecules. According to functionalism, consciousness should be seen as a whole. ठीक है कुछ लड़के शॉपिंग करने जाएंगे तो शॉप पे ध्यान देंगे कुछ लड़के शॉपिंग करने जाएंगे तो आसपास की लड़कियों पे ध्यान देंगे तो उनको समझने के लिए उनके कॉन्शियस उसके उसके पर्सनालिटी को एज अ होल समझना पड़ेगा कि व्हाट कैचेस इज अटेंशन द गर्ल्स इन द मार्केट और द प्रोडक्ट इन द शॉप ठीक है कुछ लोग तो कुछ भी नहीं खरीदेंगे ठीक है सो so, this type of approach is holistic approach, which is known as molar approach. Molar is opposite of molecular. Okay. Structuralism is also accused of being reductionist in approach. Whereas functionalism is holistic in approach. Huh? It is theoretical, structuralism is theoretical, functionalism is utilitarian, pragmatic. Achha, observation ka method kya tha? Structuralism ka? Subjective introspection and self-reporting. अपने अंदर झांको और बताओ मन में क्या चल रहा है आपको कुछ सुनाया गया कोई आवाज सुनाई गई बताओ आपको क्या सुनाई दिया और इसको सुनने के बाद आपको क्या इमोशन आया इसको सुनने के बाद माइंड में कौन सा इमेजिनेशन आया ये सेल्फ रिपोर्ट कर राइट सो सब्जेक्टिव इंट्रोस्पेक्शन वाज द मेथड एंड सेल्फ रिपोर्ट इन्वेंट्री सेल्फ रिपोर्ट इन्वेंट्री मतलब क्वेश्चंस के जवाब दो यहां क्या मेथड है यहां सब्जेक्टिव इंट्रोस्पेक्शन नहीं है फील्ड स्टडी हाँ फील्ड स्टडी को कहते हैं नॉन ऑब्स्ट्रूसिव ऑब्जर्वेशन मैं समझाता हूं क्या देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन इन साइकोलॉजिकल इंक्वायरी ऑब्स्ट्रूसिव एंड नॉन ऑब्स्ट्रूसिव Obstrusive observation is one in which the observed person knows that he is being observed. So, how do you behave when you know that there is a CCTV camera looking at you? You are very sober, sophisticated gentleman. You might be tempted to put your finger inside your nose, but you won't because you know cameras are watching you. 
एंड अनदर दिस कॉल्ड ऑब्स्ट्रूसिव ऑब्जर्वेशन पीपल डोंट बिहेव नॉर्मली ठीक है नेचुरली नॉन ऑब्स्ट्रूसिव ऑब्जर्वेशन इज वन इन विच द ऑब्जर्व पर्सन इज अन अवेयर दैट ही और शी इज बीइंग ऑब्जर्व सो दे बी देयर नेचुरल सेल्फ फंक्शनलिज्म ब्रॉट नॉन ऑब्स्ट्रूसिव ऑब्जर्वेशन इन प्रैक्टिस है ना अच्छा जब आप एग्जाम में लिखेंगे इस तरह के आंसर जो कि फ्रीक्वेंटली पूछता है हर अल्टरनेट ईयर पूछ ही लेते हैं क्वेश्चन तो आप ऐसा लाइन ड्रॉ करके नहीं लिखेंगे दिस इज अ वेरी इनफॉर्मल कैजुअल फॉर्म ऑफ राइटिंग इट डजन कन्वे रिस्पेक्ट टूवर्ड्स द एग्जामिनर इन्हीं को आप पैरा फॉर्म में लिखेंगे एक पैरा में ये पॉइंट आ जाएगा दूसरे में ये पॉइंट आ जाएगा फुल सेंटेंस पैरा फ्रेजिंग करेंगे ठीक है I have given you the content. Now you write in your own words. As I said, that your English should not be too much flowery, too much decorated. It should be understandable, and keep it to the NCERT standards. Right? For example, if you have to talk about salient features of certain thing. सेलियंट फीचर्स का मतलब कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर्स तो सेलियंट फीचर या कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर लिखिए कुछ बच्चे क्या करेंगे वो हाई फाई इंग्लिश का इस्तेमाल करेंगे द क्विंट एसेंशियल ऑफ दिस का है भैया एग्जामिनर को हो सकता नहीं मालूम क्विंट एसेंशियल क्या होता है इट शोज पेडेंटिक इट इट शोज इट मेक्स यूर आंसर लुक पेडेंटिक पेडेंटिक समझते अननेसेसरी डिस्प्ले ऑफ नॉलेज वो नहीं होना चाहिए The examiner is the most learned person in that area. You cannot know more than he he does, and he expects you to behave like a child. Okay. So functionalism brought a change in the definition. He said psychology is the scientific study of mind. they replace the word consciousness with mind and what is mind mind is a state of consciousness which keeps changing every time your state of mind keeps changing every time every moment your mood changes your thoughts changes your plans changes theek okay. hai so mind is a state it is a state of being that keeps changing so how we use our consciousness our mind as a whole to deal with the situation that should be the object of study of psychology and the definition again went across change and then comes a revolution in psychology which is called behavioral revolution or behaviorism was brought by baby watson john b watson a bunch of psychologists were not satisfied with either of the two schools structuralism or functionalism they wanted a status of pure science for psychology they wanted to make psychology out and out scientific so they wanted to bring empiricism in psychology no subjectivity empiricism science aapke opinion pe based nahi hai science facts pe sabooton pe based hai hai na so science will study only those behaviors those phenomena which can be observed and measured in some way theek hai now i cannot see directly your thoughts i cannot see directly your emotions i cannot see directly your motives but what i can see directly is what you do your actions your behavior so psychology should be scientific study of behavior and nothing else theek okay? hai
psychology should be scientific study of behavior only then it will enjoy the status of pure science okay now can we observe all human behaviors is it ethical no so we cannot invade privacy of some person we cannot compromise the confidentiality so many observations were not possible directly on humans so they assured an era of experimentation on animals because they believed that man is just like any other animal so men will also behave similarly as the animal do in a given situation theek hai aadmi aur janwar mein koi antar nahi agar antar nahi hai to dekhte hain janwar kaise behave karta hai how do animals behave are they proactive or reactive in their actions से डॉग सड़क का एक कुत्ता वो प्रोएक्टिवली बिहेव करता है या रिएक्शन में बिहेव करता है रिएक्शन में यू शो हिम अ पीस ऑफ बोन और अ बिस्किट इट विल कम वेविंग इट्स टेल सो हु गॉट हिम कम क्लोज टू यू यू आपके हाथ में था बिस्कुट दिखाओ कुत्ता आएगा ही ठीक है तो कुत्ते का बिहेवियर कंट्रोल कौन कर रहा है आप कर रहे हैं एंड हु आर यू यू आर द एनवायरमेंट You are the stimulus in the environment for the dog. आप एक पत्थर उठा लो कुत्ता भाग जाएगा किसने भगाया उसको आपने भगाया Are you getting it? Human beings also behave in the same way. A child will come to you if you show him a chocolate, and the child will run away from you if you show him a math mathematics book. ठीक है तो कुत्ते में और बच्चे में कोई अंतर नहीं है Are you getting my point? So Watson said, human beings are just like animals. They are passive recipients. they are passive recipients of stimulations stimulations come from stimulus from the environment they are passive recipients of stimulations from the environment like ma'am what's your name ah huh? nishtha now see i gave her a stimulus the stimulus was the question what is your name and she gave me a specific response nishtha is there anyone else in the class whose name is nishtha no so this is an exclusive response which will come only from her theek hai jab tak maine ye stimulation inko nahi diya tha did she come and met all of you and introduced herself as nishtha mere aane se pehle kya inhone bol aap logo ko sabko bataya ki mera naam nishtha hai iska matlab ye proactive nahi hai inko jab maine pucha to inhone bataya aapko bhi puchunga tabhi aap batayenge aise aap nahi batayenge are you getting it so human beings are passive recipients of environmental stimulus just like the dog usko biscuit dikhaoge tabhi aayega theek hai so human beings are reactive to environmental stimulus human beings are reactive to environmental stimulus yahan tak samajh mein aa raha hai now i give a sentence 
विच केम फ्रॉम डायरेक्टली वॉटसन अगर एग्जाम में ये सेंटेंस याद रहे तो लिखना नहीं याद रहे मत लिखना कोई मतलब नहीं है इसका मतलब समझ लो द मैनिपुलेटिव डिटर्मिनाट्स ऑफ बिहेवियर लाइज outside the person in his or her environment the manipulative determinants of behavior lies outside the person in the environment आप अपने मर्जी से कुछ नहीं कर सकते क्योंकि आपकी मर्जी आपके अंदर है आप जो भी करते हैं आप मैनिपुलेट होके करते हैं और कौन मैनिपुलेट करता है जो एनवायरनमेंट में यू आर रिएक्टिव द मैनिपुलेटिव डिटर्मिनाट्स डिटर्मिनाट्स मीन्स व्हाट डिटरमाइंस योर बिहेवियर लाइज आउटसाइड द पर्सन इन द एनवायरमेंट नाउ लेट्स कम बैक टू निस्टर निस्टर वेर डू बिलोंग टू Delhi. Uh, what has been your graduation subject? Graduation subject. Subject in graduation. Uh, political science. Okay. Now see, I kept changing the questions, and she kept changing the answers. So I was manipulating her answers. Hey, Gini. I was manipulating her answers. So. i can make nista behave in whatever manner i like i can generate i can elicit any response of my choice from nista now if i want that nista should get irritated with me i would be asking her a very irritable question and i can produce irritation response anger response main nista ko gussa bhi dilwa sakta hu to aakhir nista ko gussa aaye hansi aaye kuch bhi aaye wo karwa kon raha hai फिर बात समझ रहे हैं आप देखो इस आइडिया का फायदा देखो बिहेवियरिस्ट को क्या बिहेवियरिस्ट सेट ऑल बिहेवियर्स आर फॉलोड बाय अ कॉन्सिक्वेंस विच कुड बी a reinforcement or punishment all behaviors are followed by a consequence which can be a reinforcement or punishment to aap jab chote bachche the aapko bhook lagi you felt hungry and your mother served you chapati and upon eating that chapati you were relieved of your hunger you got satisfaction that's the reinforcement so next time when you again feel hungry what you will long for what you will want chapati you will not chew your pencil because you know what gives me satisfaction from hunger is chapati had you been born in southern india anybody from southern part of this country ha huh? Which which place? Karnataka. What were you fed when you were a kid? Chapati or dosa, idli? Ah, huh? idli. So when you feel hungry, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? Idli. And you, chapati. So he has learned to eat idli. He has learned to eat chapati. So if I know what he has learned and what he has learned, I can always predict in advance. भूख लगने दो ये इडली खाएगा उडुपी रेस्टोरेंट में जाके भूख लगने दो ये पंजाबी ढाबा में जाके कुछ खाएगा तो आई एम प्रोडिक्टिंग आई एम प्रोडिक्टिंग द ह्यूमन बिहेवियर इन एडवांस एम आई नॉट अ साइंटिस्ट व्हाट डू साइंटिस्ट डू दे प्रोडिक्ट द फोरकास्ट इफ दिस कंडीशन प्रिवेल्स दिस विल बी द कॉन्सिक्वेंस द ओनली थिंग आई हैव टू डिस्कवर इज योर पास्ट नॉट ओनली दैट 
if you give me a newborn child from southern india i live in north india and if you want me to teach him eating chapati can't i do it he will not even think of idli so is children are children born with any kind of predisposition to eat idli or chapati no if a child is born in america he will long for garam kutta eh, sorry hot dog or burger hai na wo burger mangega to kehne ka matlab hai psychologist can make people learn anything they wish all that they have to do they have to reinforce the desired behavior and they have to punish the undesirable behavior theek hai now say you went to your school first day kindergarten and the teacher asked everybody to speak out their names now say you you thought that let me be bit funny i'll make everyone laugh so when your turn came you said i'm james bond 007 and the teacher made you murga punishment next day the teacher again asked to introduce yourself what will be your response james bond nay ab nay so he has learned to speak his real name because of the punishment so by selective administration of reinforcement and punishment we can make people acquire any kind of personality learn anything theek hai so they said behavior said that responses given by a person get specifically associated with the stimulus or situation the responses given by a person get specifically associated with the stimulus ha huh? to jab aapko bhook lagegi to aap roti mangenge specific response to specific situation aap roti bhook jab tak nahi lagegi roti nahi khayenge lekin jab bhook lagegi to roti hi khayenge so every response over a period of time due to repeated reinforcement and punishment get specifically associated with the stimulus so each time you were hungry your mother fed chapati again hungry chapati so you learn to eat chapati so now you have learned to give a response of eating chapati when hungry this is a very specific response so every stimulus has a specific response if stimulus is s1 hunger behavior is chapati if stimulus s2 is sleep hmm? tiredness fatigue the response is go to bed hum sik gaye hain are you getting it if stimulus is you are feeling itching in your skin the response is scratch it with your nails so over a period of time every behavior get specifically associated with a unique stimulus this is how people learn to behave now if i can make a list of the specific responses you give to distinctive stimulus then can't i predict and control your responses by creating similar situation kar sakte hai ya predict kar sakte hai ki dekho bhook lagega to ye chapati khayega hai na so this made behaviorist make psychology more and more nomothetic nomothetic ka matlab hota hai law seeking just like science so psychologists were now able to make laws of behavior so behaviorists would say when there is recession in the economy 
the prices of real estate will decline. ठीक है? The prices of real estate will decline. So behaviorist would make prediction during condo during this pandemic, hmm? corona pandemic. The prices of properties will decline. Predict कर दिया and therefore people will spend and buy property because it is the best time to buy property. Predict करना शुरू कर दिया human behavior को advance. So they contributed in a big way to make laws of how people behave in economic scenario, how people behave in war scenario, how people behave in different walks of life. इन्होंने laws बनाने शुरू किए, ठीक है? So they wanted to make psychology out and out scientific. And they were making it scientific, making it nomothetic. Okay. Now, आप एक कुत्ते को बिस्किट दिखाएंगे, तो आपकी तरफ दौड़ा चलाएगा। आप सड़क पे किसी stranger को, जिसको आप जानते नहीं हैं, the person whom you don't know, a stranger in the street. If you show him a biscuit like this, what will be his reaction? Yeah? Huh? Ye maine last batch mein ek student ko pucha tha what will be his reaction? Bolta hai wo puchega chai nahi milega. So human beings are different from animals. Theek hai? Aap kutte ko patthar dikhayenge kutta bhaag jayega aadmi ko patthar dikhayenge aur usse bada patthar utha ke aapko daud. है ना? Now suppose every now and then you get some spam calls on your phone. Sir, we are calling from Vodafone, we are calling from Airtel, we have a brilliant scheme for you. Do you take the offer each time you get a call? But isn't there a reinforcement value in the offer? Aren't the offers good? भाई तभी तो ऑफर है। don't you see any benefit in the offer? There are benefits. So according to behaviorist, when there is a benefit, it will attract you and you should behave accordingly. Your behaviors will be controlled by reinforcement. Anna? But do you take that offer? Not always because you have your priorities. Your offer might be very good, but I have my own preferences. Am I right? You might get a marriage proposal from a very beautiful partner, but you are already engaged with somebody who is very average looking. Will you accept that proposal? You will. इतना भी पेट भरवा के झूठ बोलने की जरूरत नहीं है साइकल जेकला तो बिहेवियर्स जो चीज मिस कर रहा था कि ह्यूमन बीइंग्स आर मच मोर कॉम्प्लिकेटेड एस कंपेयर्ड टू एनिमल्स है ना लेकिन ये अड़े रहे वॉटसन सेड गिव मी अ चाइल्ड एंड टेल मी व्हाट टू मेक आउट ऑफ हिम आई विल मेक व्हाट एवर यू वांट मी टू मेक हिम ठीक है दे सेड ऑल बिहेवियर्स कैन बी ऑब्जर्व इवन पीपल थिंक साइलेंटली इन साइड माइंड दैट कैन ऑल्सो बी ऑब्जर्व ठीक है, दे सेड व्हाट इज थिंकिंग, दे सेड व्हाट इज थिंकिंग, थिंकिंग इज नथिंग बट इनर स्पीच, यू आर टॉकिंग विथ योरसेल्फ इनसाइड योर माइंड, इनर स्पीच, व्हेन एवर यू थिंक, देर इज एन ऑडियो बीइंग प्लेइंग इन योर माइंड, ठीक है, इफ आई टर्न अप द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ दिस इनर स्पीच, अगर इफ वी Turn on the intensity. If you raise the intensity of this inner speech, it becomes whisper. And if I loud it further, it becomes talk. And talking can be heard. So every behavior is observable. जो आदमी सोच रहा है आप उससे खाली पूछिए कि जो सोच रहे हो बोल के सोचो. आप उसके thought को भी study कर सकते, observe कर सकते. 
Are you getting my point? They said all kind of emotions they are learned. All kind of emotions are learned. You are not born with anything inside. The head is tabula rasa at birth. It is empty at birth. And we can make people learn emotion also. So everybody can learn anything depending upon how we administer the reinforcement and punishment. For example, fear is an emotion. Fear is emotion. Even this emotion is learned. What is fear according to behaviorist? Faulty evaluation about reality. Faulty evaluation about reality. What did he mean by this? He said, I can make people fear anything I want. What's the matter? I'm such a big controlling agent that I can make anything. You can give a child a child, you can give a new life, you can give a doctor, 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 you can give a doctor. You want me to make him a felony, I will make him a felony, a criminal. So how will we make it? To make him a good doctor, I will give him reward for studying. To make him a good criminal, I will give him reward for aggressive behaviors, unlawful behaviors. Gradually, he will learn to commit unlawful behavior and become and turn out a criminal. Even fears can be learned. Okay. So, Mary Cover Jones took little Albert as her subject. ठीक है, लिटिल एल्बर्ट एक छोटा बच्चे का नाम था और ये नाम हमेशा हम लोग बदल के बोलते हैं इन साइकोलॉजी वी डू नॉट डिस्क्लोज द रियल नेम्स आई दर वी यूज द इनिशियल्स और वी चेंज द नेम दिस गाइज द नेम ठीक है क्योंकि बहुत प्राइवेट इंफॉर्मेशन होता है तो लिटिल एल्बर्ट वॉज फॉन्ड ऑफ प्लेइंग विद रेबिट्स मैरी कोवर जोन सेड विद इन अ वीक आई विल मेक लिटिल एल्बर्ट Learn to fear rabbits. So, what did she do? Each time little Albert would approach a rabbit in the garden, she would make a loud, scary noise by hiding somewhere. When this was done repeatedly, once, twice, thrice, four times, five times, little Albert associated that scary noise with the rabbit. And he started avoiding rabbit. He started fearing rabbits. So each time he would sight the rabbit, he would run away. Gradually, this fear got generalized to every white furry object. Not only rabbit, any white furry object he used to fear. This is called learned phobia. ठीक है जो खतरनाक नहीं उससे भी आप डर रहे हैं. The fear and the phobia extended so much. That little Albert started fearing the white beards of his grandfather. Dada ji ke dadi se bhi usko dar nahi hai. To bola dekho, ye fear to tha nahi pehle, ye humne paida karwaya. To maa baap gusse mein aage, bola thik karo. To bola koi dikkat nahi. Very easy. Each time little Albert saw the rabbit, Mary Cover Jones did not produce that scary sound. Little Albert was repeatedly exposed to white rabbit without any loud, scary noise. When this was done repeatedly, slowly, slowly, with every successive sight of the rabbit, the intensity of fear declined, and Little Albert got completely, completely desensitized of fear of white furry object. वो फोबिया ठीक भी हो। तो आपको किसी भी point of time पे कुछ भी बनाया जा सकता है। or kuch bhi, you can be made to learn anything and you can be made to unlearn anything. This was the claim of people like Watson. Okay? So, learned phobia. Fear kya hai? Faulty evaluation about reality. Every white furry object is dangerous. 
पॉलिटी वैल्यूएशन तो आप समझ लीजिए जीवन में आपको जिस चीज से भी डर लगता है वो आपके मन का भ्रम है आपकी फॉल्टी लर्निंग है ठीक है आपको सांप से डर लगता है लगना चाहिए गो टू सम स्टेट्स ऑफ नॉर्थ ईस्ट दे प्ले विद द स्नेक्स विच मीन्स दैट इट इज नॉट सो हार्मफुल एज वी थिंक इट इज आपको टाइगर से डर लगता है लगना चाहिए But you know, human flesh for tigers is just like dog meat for you. इंसान का मांस सबसे गंदा बदबूदार उनके लिए होता है वो खाना नहीं चाहते दे बिकम मैन इटर ओनली वेन दे आर वेड एंड कॉन्ट रन आफ्टर डियर देन दे कैच एजी प्रे लाइक ह्यूम इट्स लाइक डॉग मीट फॉर दम सो दीज पीपल हु टेक द टूरिस्ट इन सफारी इन रंथम बोर एंड ऑल दो जीप ड्राइवर्स उनको क्यों नहीं अटैक करते उतने सारे टूरिस्ट उतना सारा भोजन सामने क्यों नहीं वाइट एंड टाइगर के लिए क्या वो जिप्सी भी उलट उलट देगा चाहेगा है ना सम अदर प्रोपोनेंट्स इन बिहेवियरिज्म वेयर इवान पैबलो एंड स्किनर Along with Watson, Pavlov, B. F. Skinner, were some other proponents about whom we will learn in detail in the learning chapter. Behaviorist laid the school of stimulus response psychology. Every stimulus has a specific response. So it is also called SR psychology. ठीक है इफ एनी बॉय इन दिस क्लास कम्स ड्रेस्ड इन फॉर्मली द टीचर विल आस्क हिम टू लीव द क्लास कोई बनियान पहन के आ गया मैं क्या करूंगा नेचुरली बोलूंगा क्लास से बाहर जाओ दूसरी बार वो बनियान पहन के नहीं आएगा है ना सो ही विल लर्न द क्लासरूम इज एन ओकेशन वेर वी नीड टू बी फॉर्मल and our personal room is an occasion where we need to be casual to banyan wahan pehna hai banyan yahan nahi pehna to aap har situation mein ek specific response dete aur wo specific response kya hoga that environment will teach you theek hai and they were very proud for sr psychology they said that if we know the situation s then we can predict the response r and therefore psychology became law seeking subject this was the period when the definition of psychology changed to psychology is the scientific study of behavior because this is something which can be seen so behavioral school is also known as school of environmentalism environmentalism or environmental determinism environmentalism or environmental determinism dono ek hi meaning hai environment determines what we learn and what we unlearn So man is passive recipients of environmental stimulus. We are reactive. We are reactive. Now, while these developments were taking in the academic schools of psychology. academic corridors of psychology one crazy man was growing up ek pagal aadmi ekdam independent jiska psychology se koi lena dena nahi tha wo jawan ho raha tha 
दिस मैन इज ऑफन क्लेम्ड एज फादर ऑफ साइकोलॉजी ठीक है द मोस्ट कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल मैन ऑन अर्थ ही वॉज अटैंड अटेम्प्टेड एसासिनेशन ट्वेंटी नाइन टाइम्स उन्तीस बार उनपे जानलेवा हमला हुआ बट ही डिड नॉट डाई ही सर्वाइव इज टाइम इवेंचुअली ही डाइड आउट ऑफ ओरल कैंसर एज ही वॉज अ चेन स्मोकर एंड ड्रग एडिक्ट कोकेन बहुत लेते थे और कोकेन लेने के बाद ही उनका थ्योरी निकलता सो सेवेंटीन ईयर्स ऑफ हिज लाइफ वेर गॉन इन पेन एंड टॉर्मेंसी वाइल ही डिड ऑल इज वर्क विच अर्न हिम द स्टेटस ऑफ फादर ऑफ साइकॉल हैड ही सर्वाइव फ्यू मोर डेज he would have opened up some more mysteries about human mind so little background about him. he lived in vienna in a very conservative society and he was a veterinary doctor janwaro ka doctor theek hai when he was 20 his father got married to another woman who was 30 and freud felt sexually attracted towards his stepmother and that disturbed him very deeply he began thinking of himself am i a pervert am i a incest how could i feel like that and vienna was a very conservative society and therefore he thought of exploring his own mind and he started wandering across different countries of europe ठीक है एंड देन लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स हैपन दैट वी विल लर्न इन पर्सनैलिटी ड्यू टू विच ही डेवलप अ टोटली डिफरेंट ओरिएंटेशन अबाउट ह्यूमन साइके ठीक है तो इनका जब थ्योरी पढ़ाऊंगा पूरा डिटेल में पढ़ाऊंगा अभी मैं बता देता हूं कि इनका स्कूल क्या था ही इंडिपेंडेंटली स्टेब्लिश अ स्कूल विच वॉज नॉट टॉट अर्लियर इन एनी यूनिवर्सिटी बट नाउ इट इज इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ ऑल यूनिवर्सिटीज इज नोन एज साइको एनालिटिकल स्कूल ठीक है साइको एनालिटिकल एक साथ ही लिखिए अलग अलग लिखने की जरूरत नहीं एनालिटिकल स्कूल स्टेब्लिश बाय सिगमंड रूड कवि मत बोलना इंटरव्यू रूम में अगर पूछा तो कभी मत बोलना एकदम जानलेवा हो जाएगा फ्रॉयड ठीक है एक बार बोल के देखो फ्रॉयड नॉट फ्रूड लिखेंगे ऐसे लेकिन बोलेंगे फ्रॉयड ठीक है ही सेड he talked he spoke about levels of consciousness he identified several levels of consciousness consciousness is not a single entity it expands to different levels theek hai consciousness is your awareness that means what all things you are aware of at a given point of time that forms your consciousness so right now what is there in your consciousness do you have a rough idea about what could be the time hmm 4:30 or so that is present in your consciousness do you have the awareness that where are you sitting right now right are you aware of the fact that after the class you will be taking or boarding on a metro are you aware of the fact that the person who is supposed to be paid attention to is the teacher in the class not the friend sitting next theek okay? hai so lot of things are present in your consciousness and you feel proud of having so many informations and using these informations you are able to execute yourself properly conduct yourself appropriately hai na aapko pata hai ki aankhon ko ghumana kidhar dekhna kidhar hai इधर उधर दीवार पे नहीं देखना है इधर देखना है आपके कानों को पता है कि किस फ्रीक्वेंसी पे ट्यून करके सुनना है विच साउंड शुड बी लेट इन एंटर माई इयर्स राइट एंड यू आर वेरी प्राउड दैट यू यू डू थिंग्स बाय नोइंगली 
मैं जानबूझ के टीचर को और बोर्ड को देख रहा हूं मैं जानबूझ के फॉर्मली बैठा हुआ हूं मैं जानबूझ कर मेट्रो पकड़ूंगा यू नो वॉट एवर आई डू आई एम द डूअर मेरी मर्जी से फ्रॉइड स्टार्टेड लाफिंग ही सेड वेल वॉट एवर यू आर अवेयर ऑफ इज लाइक टिप ऑफ एन आइसबर्ग दिस इज वॉटर दिस इज सी Have you seen an iceberg or sea ice? Iceberg is a mountain of ice which is floating in the sea water, and the tip of the iceberg is just one ninth of the total length, total depth. So what we are aware of is just one ninth of our mind. Much of the mind, much of the consciousness carries informations. which we are not aware of and it is this much of the mind which is beyond our consciousness controls our behaviors without our knowledge hame lagta humne soch samajh ke apni marzi se kiya lekin humne kuch bhi apni marzi se nahi kiya hame lagta hai aisa everything comes from deeper forces so if consciousness is psyche then break this psyche analyze it tukde tukde karo aur andar dekho kya hai andar ye hai ye karwa raha hai aapse aapko pata hi nahi you think you are pro social you think that you are like ram but in reality from inside you are a ravan to conceal that ravan being exposed in public you pretend to be ram you pretend to be ram do you tease a woman in the street no don't you want to freud kahenge if you are attracted towards a woman aapke man mein aage utha lete lekin fir aapke consciousness mein ye information hai ki uthane se jail jana padega इसीलिए आप नहीं उठा रहे तो आपकी असलियत क्या है राम या रावण रावण वी ऑल आर मोटिवेटेड टू बिकम रावण एंड टू कंट्रोल दैट रावण वी डू द प्रिटेंशन ऑफ राम स्ट्रोंगर द रावण इन साइड स्ट्रोंगर द राम टू कंट्रोल इट द पीपल हु हैव वेरी हाई मोरल्स वेरी हाई वैल्यूज are the ones who have the darkest and the deepest desires samajhna mushkil hai would you appreciate if i say this that the morning appears to be brighter when it comes after the darkest night ha huh? would you appreciate the fact if i say that ram appears to be holy when seen in contrast with ravan in absence of ravan importance of ram becomes insignificant would you accept the fact that lotus flower which is offered to the goddess grows over dirty mud so our morals our social face our public face is just like lotus our reality is in from inside we are dirty mud just like freud felt attracted towards his step mother but he did not do anything because he was pretending ram samajh rahe so we will learn about the levels of consciousness just for your understanding i am giving a briefing kyunki jab hum personality shuru karenge usme batayenge sabse upar mein hota hai consciousness ya conscious theek hai underlying the conscious underlying the conscious lies the preconscious or subconscious and at the deepest part lies the unconscious we are most aware about conscious we are less aware about subconscious and we are not at all aware about our unconscious 
ठीक है और सबसे कम पार्ट कौन सा है कॉन्शियस का वन नाइन्थ ऑफ द आइसबर्ग न फ्रॉइड यूज टू गिव लॉट ऑफ इंटरेस्टिंग एनोलॉजी टू कन्वे हिस्स पॉइंट तो जब उन्होंने ये सब बोला तो दुनिया भर के साइकोलॉजी जो यूनिवर्सिटी के स्कूल स्थापना करने वाले थे सब ने उसको बोला एक कोर्ट हेल्ड हुआ कॉलेजियम को हेल्ड हुआ तो बोला उसको कौन है पागल जानवर का डॉक्टर उल्टा सीधा पकड़ा है क्या क्वालिफिकेशन है इसका कोई डिग्री है साइकोलॉजी में बोला हाउ कैन यू से दैट कॉन्शियसनेस हैज डिफरेंट लेवल्स और एक बड़ा सा ऑडिटोरियम है समझ लो उसमें सीढ़ियां बनी हुई है लोग एकदम बैठे हुए स्कॉलर टेबल पर सब माइक है सबके पास सबने उसको अटैक कर दिया लिटरली और ये बीच में खड़े चारों तरफ से स्कॉलर लोग बैठे हैं। सेड मैं आपको एक किस्सा सुना लेट मी टेल यू अ स्टोरी वन डे आई वाज ड्राइविंग थ्रू अ फॉरेस्टेड एरिया इन माय कार इट वाज अ डार्क नाइट एंड इट वाज स्टॉर्मी नाइट सून आई रियलाइज दैट इट इज नॉट सेफ ड्राइविंग and i must find a shelter for myself to spend the night theek hai i spotted a very very old palatial building in the forest which was completely dark and scary however it was big enough to provide me shelter it was raining heavily so i parked my car and started marching towards that palace didn't appear that anybody was living in that palace however i knocked the door and the door opened by itself okay in the thunderstorm in the lightning i could spot a table over which was lying a candle and a matchbox i went inside scared i lit up the candle and i saw it was a huge hall surrounded with several rooms which were dark which were in darkness the bada sa central room tha living area aur uske charo taraf bahut sare kamre the jinke piche andhera tha i decided not to peep inside any of the rooms and spend my night in the candle light in this hall तो लोग देख पीपल गॉट एंगेज इन द स्टोरी क्या बोल रहे तो ही आज द स्कॉलर वट यू थिंक इफ आई डिड नॉट वेंट इन साइड द रूम्स वॉट विल बी माई अवेयरनेस वॉट विल बी माई मेमरी ऑफ दैट पैलेस माई मेमरी ऑफ दैट पैलेस माई अवेयरनेस ऑफ दैट पैलेस विल बी दैट देर इज अ पैलेस इन द फॉरेस्ट विच इज अ बिग लिविंग रूम but will it be correct to say there are no other rooms in that palace so because i do not i did not went to those rooms doesn't means that they don't they don't exist they do exist we are scared enough to explore them we are scared enough to explore them so you are scared to see the ravan inside you and therefore you are in denial nahi nahi aisa nahi hu main main nek aadmi hu Are you getting it? So if I did not explore those rooms, it doesn't means that there is nothing beyond the beyond the living room. The mysteries are very deep. Now, what is present in your consciousness are all those informations which are relevant to deal with the present day situation. Okay, like if I ask you, what was the breakfast you had today morning? Hmm. ठीक है ही वॉज प्रॉम्प्ट इन रिप्लाइंग बिकॉज दिस इंफॉर्मेशन इज रेलिवेंट इंफॉर्मेशन ही नीड्स टू चेक दैट ही डज नॉट रिपीट सीटिंग पोहा बिकॉज ही हेज ऑलरेडी इटन इट इन ब्रेकफास्ट सो दिस इंफॉर्मेशन विल बी रेलिवेंट फॉर हिम अंटिल टू नाइट टू मोरो दिस इंफॉर्मेशन विल बिकम बोगस है ना सो वॉन्स दिस इंफॉर्मेशन बिकम्स बोगस ही हैज टू क्लियर द कॉन्शियसनेस बिकॉज इट इज ओनली वन बाई नाइन्थ इन स्पेस यहां ज्यादा इंफॉर्मेशन आ नहीं सकता है सो ही विल रिप्रेस द इंफॉर्मेशन टू हिज सबकॉन्शियस आज रात को सोने से सोने के बाद वो इंफॉर्मेशन इसका रिप्रेस हो जाएगा कहां सबकॉन्शियस क्या सुबह पोहा खाया 
जैसे कल सुबह क्या खाया था मैं पूछता हूं कल सुबह क्या खाया था देखो सोच के बताना पड़ा इसको क्यों क्योंकि वो यहां नहीं था दिस इंफॉर्मेशन वॉज पराठे वॉज नॉट प्रेजेंट इन कॉन्शियसनेस इट इज ऑलरेडी रिप्रेस टू सम कॉन्शियस सो ही डिड नॉट एंसर डू प्रॉम्पली हिज मेमरी सर्च वेंट टू कॉन्शियस ही कुड नॉट फाइंड द इंफॉर्मेशन देर सो ही प्लंज डीपर एंड ही फाउंड द इंफॉर्मेशन इन सब कॉन्शियस सो अवर कॉन्शियस माइंड कंजिस्ट ऑफ दोज इंफॉर्मेशन विच कैन बी इजिली रिकॉर्ड अवर सब कॉन्शियस माइंड कैरीज दोज इंफॉर्मेशन which are no longer relevant for present consumption which can be recalled with efforts theek okay? hai which can be recalled with efforts and if i ask you what was the breakfast you had on your fifth birthday kya hua nahi pata because it is so outdated old that you have repressed and buried it अनकॉन्शियस ठीक है फ्रॉम वेर इट विल नेवर कम बैक अगेन ठीक है बट डज इट मीन दैट इट दैट इंफॉर्मेशन डज नॉट एग्जिस्ट समबडी आस्क मी वॉट वेर यू डूइंग ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑक्टोबर नाइनटीन एटी फोर मैंने कहा पागल है क्या तो क्या सवाल है बताओ क्या बेहूदा सवाल है आई सेड आई डोंट रिमेंबर Well, are you sure you don't remember? I said I don't remember a single thing. So let me give you a hint. The same day when Indira Gandhi was shot, I said, "Oh yeah, I remember. I was playing cricket on the ground, and the news came on radio, and we all rushed to one our neighborhood who had a television. I was wearing a red T-shirt. आप कैसे याद आ गए? वो था information. It was not accessible." ठीक है चाइल्डहुड अमनीजिया चाइल्डहुड फियर्स चाइल्डहुड फॉरबिडन डिजायर्स इफ दे आर केप्ट इन कॉन्शियस माइंड दे विल क्रिएट ट्रॉमा दे विल प्रोड्यूस फीलिंग ऑफ गिल्ट दे विल क्रिएट एंजाइटी सो एज अवर बॉडी हैज अ डिफेंस मैकेनिज्म एज अवर बॉडी हैज एन इम्यून सिस्टम द इम्यून सिस्टम ऑफ माइंड इज नोन एज रिप्रेशन इम्यून सिस्टम ऑफ माइंड रिप्रेशन all the disturbing thoughts are repressed to unconscious from where they never come back to disturb us bachpan ka intense fear your first crush towards your class teacher when you were in class second terribly guilty kya soch raha hu repression ठीक है योर इंटेंस एंगर टूवर्ड्स योर फादर हु डिड नॉट बाय यू द टॉय यू वांटेड एंड देन यू फेल्ट गिल्टी यू फेल्ट लाइक किलिंग हिम हाउ कुड आई थिंक लाइक दैट बट दैट थॉट केम बिकॉज यू आर ओरिजिनली रावण आर यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट दैट थॉट केम एंड यू रिप्रेस्ड इट The unconscious is the storehouse of repressed memories that we are carrying from our past, especially childhood. They are forbidden in nature. They are disturbing. They are anxiety provoking. But if you keep on repressing such memories in your unconscious, don't you think the pressure cooker will blast? Unconscious me, jitne memories hai, agar unko bahar nikalne ka jagah nahi mila, to to explode kar jayega. the person will lose his control of mind so the pressure must be released but this conscious mind will not will allow the unconscious to come back again khabardar main tumhe bhul chuka hu aana nahi wapas so unconscious informations spill out in dreams and dreams are disguised you see something you feel something else your dreams look very bizarre mundane senseless meaningless next day morning you will laugh at yourself ye kya sapna dekh raha tha you might find a stranger dead in your dream and you might be crying as if you have lost your father so what would have happened somewhere in your early childhood 
you might have seen a dead body of your father's friend, sorry, your friend's father. Okay. And that produced a terrible thought in your mind, this could happen to my father also. And you got very disturbed and you repressed that thought. Now that thought will come out in dream. You will see a stranger dead and you will be crying as if your father has died. So that next day morning, even if you remember the dream, you will not feel disturbed because you were crying for a stranger. So the face of your father was disguised as a stranger. Isli dreams ka reality ke saath koi talmel nahi hota, bade mundane hota, kyunki har character disguised. Ladkiya kabhi ladki ban ke aajate, ladki kabhi ladkiya ban ke aajate. Are we getting it? Dreams ke upar hum log aur bolenge. Freud has given an entire chapter on dream analysis. ठीक है? And we dream every night four times. Do you know that? We don't remember all of them. Some people don't remember any of them. But if you spend a night in a sleep lab, they will show you your brain EEG recordings which reveal that you are dreaming. And if you are waken up from your dreams, you will report that yes, you were dreaming. Okay. So, psychoanalytical school focused on exploring or de developing insight into the unconscious to find solution to the present day problems. Okay. So, your present day problems are they are related to your past memories. Was past memory ko azad kar diya jaye, aapko counseling kar diya jaye, and therefore the therapy is also known as psychoanalytical therapy. Okay. So, according to Freud, psychology is the scientific study of unconscious. Fit change your definition. Psychology should be the scientific study of unconscious. Now, whatever Freud said, he did not have any scientific evidence of saying so. It was pure product of Freud's own intuition. And he got some confirmation in favor of his theory because of the therapeutic success he got later on. In this theory, he started treatment karna shuru kiya aur nikle. Lekin paas abhi bhi koi hai. But we have no proof now. Jiske upar base karke we can claim that whatever he said is 100% correct. It's just his, you know, intuition. So the theory itself is intuitive. And the drawback of his theory or this school is it focuses or lays more emphasis on darker side of human beings. It does not emphasize on the Ram, it emphasizes on the Ravan. Very pessimistic view about human beings. Very, very pessimistic. So, two prominent schools which were competing against each other as of now were behaviorism and psychoanalytical school. Behaviorist kata hai, andar kuch bhi nahi hai. Manipulative determinants of human behavior lies outside the person and the environment. Ye kya kata hai? Sab kuch andar hai, baut andar hai. है ना आपको दिख नहीं रहा तो क्या है नहीं ठीक है गुरु नानक देव जी ने कहा था ना मौलाना को इराक में मौलाना कहा भगवान है तो दिखता क्यों नहीं बोले मुझे बहुत प्यास लगी दूध पिलाओगे तो दूध लेके आया मौलाना बोले मैंने सिर्फ दूध मांगा था इसमें तो बहुत कुछ मिला हुआ है बोले क्या मिला हुआ है मौलाना ने देखा तो कुछ नहीं मिला हुआ बोला नहीं है ठीक से देखो बोला ये सिर्फ दूध है उसने उंगली डाल के भी देखा और कुछ नहीं है बोला नहीं इसमें बहुत कुछ मिला हुआ गुरु नानक देव जी ने कहा बोला क्या मिला हुआ है बोले इसको गोल 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 उंगली से घुमाते जाओ देखो थोड़ी देर में मक्खन निकल आए तुम्हें मक्खन दिख नहीं रहा है 
तो क्या है नहीं भगवान भी वैसे ही है अपने अंदर घुमाओगे गोल 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 तो भगवान समझ में आएंगे उससे पहले नहीं आर यू गेटिंग इट सो वी विल टॉक मोर अबाउट सिक्वन फॉर्ट नाउ कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट स्कूल एंड दैट स्कूल इज नोन एज कॉग्नेटिव स्कूल of psychology cognitive school is also by the name known by the name sor psychology cognitive school cognitive word comes from cognitions and cognition means any meaningfully understood information held in mind cognition means any meaningfully understood information held in mind you understand what is a goat you have cognition of goat you understand what is a tiger you have cognition of tiger so your mind is full of infinite number of cognitions and you gain new cognitions every moment right now whatever psychology you are learning it is becoming a cognition theek hai when you see a old friend from your school days you feel like you have seen him somewhere then you look at him again and then again and then you identify hey, rahul and you said i recognize him what did you say i recognize you i had your cognition and now i have once again got your cognition repeat cognition is called recognition play of words hai aur kuch nahi hai theek hai so cognitive school believed that between the stimulus in the environment and the response given by the organism is the organism himself who has a mind and this mind is capable of thinking theek okay. hai so just remember sr psychology sr psychology believed that between the stimulus and the response there is nothing ye kya keh rahe no between the stimulus and the response there is organism whose mind is full of cognitions and using those cognitions is capable of thinking to main ias ke liye padhata hu to kya sare students is bharat varsh mein mere paas ias banne aate hain koi doctor nahi banta koi engineer nahi banta banta hai na ऐसा क्यों जब आई सबसे अच्छा नौकरी है सब लोग आई बनने की कोशिश क्यों नहीं करते क्योंकि सबका माइंड अलग है सबके माइंड में कॉग्निशन अलग हैं आर गेटिंग इट सो इट इज इम्पॉसिबल टू प्रेडिक्ट द ह्यूमन बिहेवियर अनलेस एंड अंटिल वी नो अबाउट व्हाट एंड हाउ पीपल थिंक पीपल थिंक ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ अवेलेबल कॉग्निशन पीपल थिंक ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ देयर पर्सनल प्रेफरेंसेस their future future expectation their past learning theek hai their past learning vagera vagera etc etc people think on those lines theek hai so how can you say that stimulus in the environment can control the responses stimulus in the environment can raise the likelihood or probability of the response it cannot regulate the response so i can give a, give anybody who is planning to become engineer an offer that if you come to me i will take half fees and i will train you maine usko ek acha stimulus diya aadhi fees mein tumhe padha dunga tum ias ka taiyari koi zaruri nahi ki wo aa jayega but there is a probability that he thinks on that line he he gives it a try so stimulus in the environment can at the max influence the responses 
but cannot regulate cannot regulate the responses at the max it can raise the likelihood of the response but it cannot regulate the response so every organism is carrying a blueprint of behavior in his mind which is known as cognitive map so in your cognitive map there are so many things in your cognitive map there is drishti is which you think will help you achieve your goal so how will you follow your strategy for is one of the cognition is drishti is second cognition is psychology option third cognition is psychology option by sovik sen fourth cognition is staying and putting up near karol bag or in karol bag nearest for travel fourth cognition is travel by metro fifth cognition is find a room that is reasonable ha na so you have got several cognitions and those cognitions are making you do the way you do theek hai so throughout our life we are following cognitive map and everybody's cognitive map is different how many of you are vegetarian okay and how many of you are occasionally vegetarian to vegetarian walon ka alag strategy hoga khane peene ka नॉन वेज वालों का अलग स्ट्रेटेजी हो ठीक है सो वी कैन नॉट से दैट व्हेन द स्टिमुलस इज सेम एवरीबडी विल गिव सेम रिस्पांस कोई जरूरी नहीं है दैट पर्सन फ्रॉम नॉर्थ इंडिया व्हेन एवर इज हंगरी ही विल ईट ओनली चपाती इट्स नॉट नेसेसरी दैट अ पर्सन फ्रॉम सदर्न इंडिया विल ऑलवेज प्रेफर ईटिंग इडली इफ यू इज अवेयर अबाउट तंदूरी रोटी a person from southern india would prefer to eat tandoori roti because that is difficult to find in southern india a person from northern india will prefer to eat in sagar ratna some masala dosa or mysore masala dosa because it is rare to his taste bud am i right so everybody is unique to aap ek lathi se sare bhaiso ko nahi chada sakte hai na so between the stimulus and the response there is the organism who is capable of thinking that means every stimulus is merely an information which will be mediated inside the mind which will be mentally mediated mentally processed so you get a call from vodafone that is there is a very good offer for you but you re reject the offer why because your priority is you will spend the money to buy the new textbook although the offer was good but you had different priorities so it can raise the likelihood of the behavior it can raise the probability of the behavior it cannot guarantee the behavior so cognitive school of psychology said psychology can make laws but not the laws like physics and chemistry we can make probable laws so this school of psychology is also called school of probabilism psychological laws are laws of probability psychological laws are laws of probability they are not laws of certainty they also conducted experiments but with a disclaimer that out of 100 replications of my experiment 95 times you will get same result five times no guarantee because human beings are very complex entities वेरी वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स एंटिटी एंड सोशल बिहेवियर तो इतना कॉम्प्लेक्स है कि कुछ कहना ही मुश्किल इफ आई मेक अ स्टेटमेंट लेट मी नो हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू विल अग्री बर्ड्स ऑफ सेम फेदर फोक टूगेदर हम्म 
Agree? Birds of same feather walk together. And how many of you would agree if I say opposites always attract each other? Hmm? Not necessary. Just imagine if your wife is just like you, carbon copy of you. Bardas karoge. Both are right. Now, which one is more right? No one knows. No one knows. Just imagine if your mom and dad were the same people, same kind of people. One is very angry, other is also very angry. What would happen to you? <laughs> Balancing change in life man. Hmm? Same people also get attracted towards each other. But on a physical level, not on a mental level. Like homosexuals. They belong to the same gender. But their psychological genders are opposite. Two guys who are gays, one will act feminine, the other masculine. So that femininity and masculinity lies in the psyche. Physically both are men, but mentally one is woman. And we will learn about this when we learn Carl Hume, hmm? Animos, Anima. Okay, personality me karenge. So, this is the cognitive school ka contribution. No doubt here. Hmm? Who is it? No, this is the most celebrated and respected school. Because it is practical. It is not the same thing that we have to make law. Okay? Now, what is the And then came another school, another perspective, just told, just told is a German word which means form, shape, figure. Gestalt believe in the quote, whole is more than the sum of its parts. Whole is more than the sum of its parts. Let me make a figure, identify the figure. What is it? It is a square. So the meaning that you derive from this figure, that it is square in shape. Why don't you perceive it as Two verticals, two horizontals, because you are seeing it as a whole and only then you are able to derive the meaning. If you see it in parts, it is meaningless. So Gestalt believes that when you make any observation about behavior, you should see the person as a whole. The person within his circumstance as a whole. Only then you will realize the truth, the reality. If you see things in parts, it will not make any sense. And most of the troubles in human life, the mental distress is because we begin to judge people for specific behaviors, for specific action. We do not examine 
द पर्सन एज अ होल मैंने तुम्हारी जीवन भर मदद की एक बार मैं नहीं कर सका मैं बुरा हो गया और जितनी बार मदद की थी मैं अच्छा अच्छा नहीं था आर यू गेटिंग इट तो हम लोगों को गलत समझते हैं कब जब हम उनके स्पेसिफिक बिहेवियर को जज करते हैं आप उसके पूरे एक्शंस बिहेवियर पैटर्न को जज करो ओनली देन एसेस करो जज तो करना ही नहीं है ओनली देन यू गेट टू नो दैट वॉट काइंड ऑफ पर्सन ही ठीक है Now, who were just told? So they were not psychologists as per se. They were political activists. They wanted to stop Hitler from going to war. They did not wanted the Second World War to take place between the Axis power and the Allied forces. So, what did they say? These two parties are held up to fight. You know, they are ready to fight with each other because they are not seeing the whole. they are seeing the situation in part germany thinks they are right americans and britain thinks they are right so if i write figure 6 in my palm i would say it is 6 and then i show it up to you you say it is 9 and we fight i am right you say you are right why are we fighting because you cannot see my perspective i can't see yours and that's why the confusion that's why the fight ha na so hitler is not understanding the british perspective the britain is not understanding hitlerian perspective if they understand the situation as a whole there won't be any reasons to fight so they published all of their literature in a very secretive manner secretive society chalta tha just all german se bahar hi jate the hamesha germans the जर्मनी से बाहर रहते थे सम यूएस चले गए कुछ अफ्रीका के आइलैंड चले गए और वहीं से अपना पब्लिकेशन निकालते रहे ठीक है दे वर वेरी सीक्रेटिव दे हैव ऑल्सो गिवन थेरेपीज दे हैव ऑल्सो गिवन थेरेपीज दे डिड नॉट एडेड टू एनीथिंग एडेड एनीथिंग टू द डेफिनेशन ठीक है एंड टुमारो विल डिस्कस द ह्यूमनिस्टिक स्कूल टुमारो विल ऑल्सो डिस्कस द स्टेटस ऑफ साइकोलॉजी एज अ साइंस आई एम जस्ट टेकिंग यू बिट स्लो because too much of information might be overwhelming okay okay so see you tomorrow bye bye jo jo point ki thi ek ek watch aur jo se pehli wali thi hmm dekhe rahe the behavior ke baare mein jab hum pehla hum चाइल्डहुड एक्सपीरियंस नहीं नहीं हमारे अंदर बस एक चीज है हम लोग किसी चीज से पैदा नहीं होते फ्रॉड ने कभी नहीं कहा फ्रॉड ने कहा वी आर बॉर्न विद इनॉर्मस अमाउंट ऑफ लिबिडो लिबिडो इज द लाइफ एनर्जी इट इज द सेक्स एनर्जी it is the energy that produces all human desires so you are born with the ability to desire so your head is not empty ability to desire during childhood your desire was to suck the mother's milk okay then you became a child and your desire was to eat as much chocolate as you get in adulthood very bad bad desires okay and your desires will keep changing desires will keep changing but ability to desire will never change even on the last day of life you will have desire one more day theek okay. hai